Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we are in a position to discuss a new sensor that is the PCA9536 with a buzzer. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's visit the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search on for this particular sensor and let's see what we got here for this particular sensor that is PCA9536 uh, I2C digital 3 channel input output with a buzzer and it's a I2C controlled buzzer and you can see more prominent features of this particular sensor and you can also have the uh, privilege uh, to add to cart or to purchase the sensor right from this website right from there further I will be interfacing the PCA9536 buzzer with an Arduino Nano and the software platform will be an Arduino code and to get to your hands on the code let's go to resource tab and here comes the Arduino code sample on your screen you can download the Arduino code sample as zip file right from here and also you can get the code from github.com and the concerned repository there is control everything community now let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to put up together and let's see what we got there now in the hardware connection setup part uh, the first thing we require is an Arduino Nano which you are able to see on my screen next we require an I2C sheet just like this now it's available on the website controleverything.com and the real reason we are using this sheet is to make connections with other I2C devices a lot easier so for that gently place this Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet and make a connection like that for the power up function what do we require is a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here the power jack next we need our sensor that is PCA9536 along with a buzzer now this here is a connecting cable now make the connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the ground terminal of the sensor should be connected to the brown wire of the cable and similarly to the ground terminal of the I2C sheet now we are done with all the connections for the hardware now let's have a look over the code and let's see what we got there coming to the interfacing part first of all we need to log in to github.com and after that we have to search on for the repository that is control everything comment after getting that repository we have to search on for that sensor which is PCA9536 as you notice on my screen and it's with a buzzer like this and this here after clicking on this we will get to know our Arduino code and here we are with the code now after that we need to go through the instructions part as you notice on my screen we have the download and install Arduino software on our local machine and the steps to install Arduino on provided on this very link arduino.cc let me open the link for you and you will have a clear view regarding what we are going to do in the installation step and we can download the Arduino software here we can run it on Windows, Mac or Linux it's our choice after that getting the installation steps clearly we need uh, for the downloading of the code and we have need to double click the file to run the program after that we need to compile and upload and after that we have to open up the serial monitor so that we can have a relevant output onto the screen now we get back to the Arduino code and it's a .ino extension file now you notice in the code we have included as you notice wire.h library first of all and we have defined the address of the sensor that will be 0x41 now in the void setup function we have initialized i2c communication as master and initialized serial communication with the baud rate equal to 9600 now we have in the writing section part as you notice we have to select configuration register first of all 0x03 and the command we are going to set here here is gpio as output which will be 0xf0 now in the void loop function we have a for loop as you notice it will run up to four times and here we are going to select output port register that will be 0x01 and here we are going to send a command which will set the logic high on each pin and the command is here right in front of you after that uh, we are going to print the results onto the spin which you can see whether the state is high and buzzer is off or whether the state is high or buzzer is on so it's a condition of if and else uh, which you are clearly uh, noticing on to the code now this is our, a very generalized and simple code now the next step is to look over the working that we are gonna do right now let's have a look over the working part and for that thing we need to copy this entire code and let's open up the Arduino terminal and in this terminal we need to create a new file and first of all we need to paste the entire code and then save it and it will be PCA9536 and it's a 
buzzer as we are know and now save it after that we need to verify and compile the code and then the next step is to upload the code and the code is being uploaded it might take a while but it will be over soon and just now we have the compilation and the uploading done and now open up the serial monitor as you know we have the input 0 1 2 state is high buzzer is off and when it's on the value is there just like we have the beep here and it means for 0 1 2 state buzzer is off and for state 3 the buzzer is on so this is how it works now let's have a look over the applications and some of the benefits for this sensor the pc 9536 is an 8-pin CMOS device that provides 4 bits of general purpose parallel input output that is GPIO expansion for I2C bus, SM bus applications and input output expanders provide a simple solution when additional input output is needed for applications like ACPI power switches, sensors, push buttons, LEDs, fans etc. Well, you can have this sensor and you can purchase it from controleverything.com and you can get the code from resource tab from this site. You can download the code as a zip file. Also, you can get the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I would like to make it clear that if you have any doubt regarding any part of this sensor or video, you can have your queries on controleverything.com and you can post your comments on the community page on this website. For articles and blogs, you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like this, you can have a look over our YouTube channel. In the end, I hope you enjoyed this video and had a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.